Good morning, man. Good morning. I know it's super early, but this is a topic, man, that we have to touch on. Um, it's inspired by uh, either a real person or a bot. And the name is Davier Mamon. I have made a comment about the Megan and Stallion and the the baby situation, where they saying the baby alluding that he has sex with Megan the Stallion, and I said something to the degree of man, Megan the Stallion getting around or something like that. She come on there, hey. She can do what she want to do. She grown and blah, blah, blah. It's her body, her choice, blah, 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 blah. So we going at it, man. We we going, you know what I'm saying? And and I, and, and when I post this video, I'm going to post some of the conversation we had up on our, our screenshotted it, man. Uh, and like I said, I don't know if it's a real person or a bot. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it, 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 it has me want to say what I need to say. Like I said, if this offends anybody, it's like when you go to church. If you ever been to church, young or old, and you felt like the man, I felt like you leave church and you be like, man, I felt like the pastor was talking to me. And you feel like he 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 you y'all like a like a guilty conscience or something. He is talking to you. He's talking to your spirit. He might not be talking to your conscience, who you are in the flesh. He might just be talking to your spirit. So this right here, man, I'm talking to somebody's spirit, man. Now, Megan Thee Stallion is a grown-ass woman. The baby is a grown-ass man, right? So you got women. Ah, oh, he doing the whole kiss and tell. It's her body, her choice. Listen, if the baby had HIV or herpes simplex one through nine, or she had to get a, a, a abortion, then she gonna be mad at the baby or whoever she's sleeping with. So that I'm grown shit? It's my body, my choice shit? That's like the Players Club. That's some Ronnie Ho quote shit. Because if you get yourself in a sticky situation, you're going to be mad at whoever you laying down with. That person, you ain't married. That person not obligated to you. You got married niggas that's cheating. You got married women that's cheating. So if you laying down and you so-called this your little friend or whatever you want to call it, and they burn your eyelashes off, or now you sitting in the clinic and they telling you you got to take this medicine for the rest of your life, now you mad. Keep that same energy, sis. Keep that same energy. All that my body, my choice. Keep that same energy. If you laying down with these niggas and you come up with something and I ain't talking about no money and you got to go to the abortion clinic. I know women personally who had to go to that, had to go to that. And they mind still ain't right. So get off that whole my body, my choice, that white women feminist talking points, man. So going back to the baby. Man, he wrong for kissing and tell. What woman is subscribing to being a side chick now? What woman is subscribing to be a mistress now? Don't all mistresses and side chicks speak out now? I thought the whole thing of a side chick was, look, this our little, you know, you know my situation. You know what I mean? We going to do what we going to do. You keep quiet. I got you. Mistress, side chick, wherever you want to call them. What side chick, what mistress is subscribing to the old way of how it used to be? Somebody, somebody tell me. 
So for women to say, oh, and I saw a nigga make a comment, oh, that's how they is. I'm going to get on you simp niggas too. Nigga, man, oh, man, that's how they is. This generation, that's how they is. LOL. Nigga. These broads will tell on your relationship. If I, if me, me, point to me, if I jump in the chick inbox right now, you know how many, before they batter eye, you know how many bitches gonna be, hey, girl, he was in my inbox. He has said, woo, woo, woo. They don't subscribe to the old way of thinking. At all. So why do a man have to subscribe to the whole kiss and tell type of situation? If that man grown and she grown and he decide to either put it on record, on social media, tell one of his homeboys, he allowed to do that. Because ain't women doing the same thing? Ain't side chicks? Ain't I'm telling you. Men, y'all know, y'all know, nigga, if you jump in the chick inbox, let you have a girl and you jump in the girl's inbox, nigga, by the end of the day, nigga, everybody gonna know that you was in her inbox saying this, that, and the third. So that way of thinking is old, man. That's the problem with our community. We be trying to subscribe to shit, this whole rules and regulations. That's why our community is fucked up. Kids out here getting molested. Boys out here getting molested. Don't kiss and tell. Don't, don't air our dirty laundry. The baby is a grown man. Megan the Stallion is a grown woman. If you a woman and you do something out here, own up to your shit. See, the reason why, let's say, because I'm not privy to it. Nobody's privy to it. We don't know if the baby trying to sell a record. We don't know what that man trying to do. But let's say he did bang the homie. And the homie feels some type of way. Yeah, that's because you don't want nobody to know you's a hoe. You fuck Tory Lanez. You around here fucking everybody. You don't want nobody to know that. But then you'll talk that I'm a woman, I'm feminine, I'm the, then own up to your shit. Because when a man do something, we got to own up to it. Tiger Woods had to own up to that. He couldn't hide behind, oh, I'm a one man. No, nah, what you do, Tiger? Oh, man, I had hit. Yeah, he got to own up to that. Magic Johnson had to own up to that. So if y'all women out here say y'all want to be equal, y'all want to be the same and we can do what a man doing all that, then own up to your bullshit. Lastly, let me talk about you simp niggas. Listen, man, I'm not being arrogant or facetious, but I ain't never had to do what a lot of these niggas did over the over these years, man. You got niggas who have to pay for coochie. Buy a chick a bag. Buy her, her purse. Take her out to Benny Hanna's. Do this. Do that. Buy her drinks. Buy her, do, do all kind of lying. This. I didn't never had to subscribe to that shit. Have I did simp shit? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that, no. So for you niggas that's up under the comments, commenting on the Megan Thee Stallion, the baby situation and saying, oh, man, that's how these niggas is. See, you lame niggas, man. I get it. I get it. I done been in relationships where a female done dealt with a nigga and and and, and then you, you know what I'm saying? I understand why they want to keep the whole quietness because they want to be able to go back to their little friend. See, when you when you delete the kiss and tell shit it just put the light on it it it, it it it's hard to go back to that it's hard to creep around see it's hard to creep around so when a nigga out somebody and say hey damn you was banging dog or whoop 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 now you and dog is on everybody looking at you and dog like oh okay that's oh that's her little sneaky link that's her little friend or whatever so you simp niggas so worried about her cutting you off from the pussy 
That you you not going to speak on what you need to speak on. Now, I get it. Privacy is privacy. I can hear somebody. Now, I can hear it. Oh, it's about, it ain't about that. It's about being private. It's about, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's private until a motherfucker got an STD, huh? When your ass at the clinic, huh? Like juvenile say, huh? Oh, you was with that boy, huh? Now your ass got that shit, huh? Oh, now it's not private now. <laughs> now you at the clinic. Now you at the abortion thing. Got to go send your baby through the grinder. Now it's not private. Hmm. Like I said, man, people subscribe to the wrong shit, man. My thoughts on it is if the baby is alluding to fucking Megan Thee Stallion and he fucked Megan Thee Stallion and he want to do that, let that man do that. Let her own up to her bullshit. That's just my thoughts on it this morning, man. As y'all see, I'm a little hot about it because I just can't stand this shit, man. The, these simple ass niggas. That's why the community is so fucked up right now, man. Niggas is tiptoeing around women, man. That's why the boys around here fucked up. The girls around here fucked up. Because we have women leading our community and men not stepping up being men. And that's a whole nother rabbit hole. But I'm just saying, we got to be men, dog. So if women, y'all going to be women, be women. If you fuck the nigga, just admit you fuck the nigga. God damn it. All right? Peace.